welcome to Bloom in Full Color, where we live life in high definition. So I um, need to introduce some new people today. So myself, Jennifer Moss. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> Dave's new to the team. <laughs> Insert eye roll here. But also, um, today's podcast, we're going to be calling Under New Management. So I'd like to introduce Adam Thompson. He is our new retail manager coming into the season. So whoop, whoop, whoop. where am I supposed to look? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. You just, just have a conversation. Okay. So um, the thing about Moss Greenhouse is, is we've been in business since 1952. The reason we have a retail is my grandmother was planting a whiskey barrel, bent over, putting some marigolds into dirt and looked up and there was people coming in every single door. And so she goes, oh, crap, we better open a store. And so that is the reason we actually have a store. It's the only reason I feel like some days. And believe you me, as the wholesaler, we're going, what the hell are we thinking? However, the thing is, if you think flowers, where do you come? Moss. Yeah. Good, That's good the call. answer, right? That was the cue. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Dave I thought, was just I like, huh? <laughs> uh, I thought that was a rhetorical question. So it's... <laughs> Exactly. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. was okay. Moss? Was we're, that the, the right answer? We've That's had a, a point really, really long month. I know it's only, okay. it's the fourth when we're filming this, maybe the fifth. What day of the month is it? it is is the it the fifth? Yes. Okay. See, we're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I showed up with pants on. That was, that was my win for the day. So, um, with that, we've got kind of, there's an opportunity ahead of us. Yeah. We kind of have been in a rut. And COVID really hit everybody in this business. It redefined what a garden center really is and what it can be aspired to be, really, because you had to look outside the box. Absolutely. Yeah. And so I ended up, oh gosh, this was probably back in 2012, 2013, 2014. My mom drug me to Chicago. We went to the IGC show. And they had Paco Underhill as one of the keynotes. And he writes The Experience Economy. I think I think I have the author of the book right. I know that the book's The Experience Economy. I'll look it up when you guys get talking. But basically, he talks about creating an experience. So if you buy a teddy bear versus going to build a bear, those are completely different mm -hmm. experiences. Um, they talk about uh, there's a hotel, I believe it's in New York, and every single room is uh, after what number is in the Dewey Decimal System. So it's like a library hotel. Okay. So every single room is like, so if that, you know, section of the Dewey Decimal System is William Shakespeare or whatever, you go into that room, it is everything William Shakespeare, period, end of story. Okay. And so it's a completely unique experience. So when people think flowers, they think moss. Well, you know, COVID, I, I'm going to just be plain. They beat the shit out of everybody in this yeah, industry without question. So we're trying to officially shake that off and look at our retail and say, how the hell do we make this one of the most unique experiences in town? Mm -hmm. And by golly, we have some wonderful people to compete with and against mm -hmm. in our own wholesale customers here. I mean, Windsor's would be a perfect example. She's got a hat press. You can sit down and have a beer. I mean, she's got a great environment over there. She's also got creatures everywhere that you can go take pictures with. Um, it's unique when you go to Windsor's. So what makes Moss unique? And so what truly we stand behind is the top quality product in town. So we've really started to look at retail completely differently. And so one of the areas that we're bringing in is, um, okay, we'll just talk about it. Do you spend more money when your husband's with you or not? I know where you're going with this. <laughs> okay, so I will always spend more money if my my husband's not with me. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I will spend. And do you spend more money when Mary's not with you? Yeah. 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 It, we um, spend useless stuff that I don't need. Exactly. Yeah. But you don't have to explain it because That's they're right. not there. That's right. Okay, so when a lovely customer of ours comes to the greenhouse with her husband, she's kind of like, "Go away! I don't want you to see what I'm spending." Yeah. So we've we're we're I, I'm going to let well, you okay. enter I don't the know idea. That, I don't know that it's, <laughs> I don't know that it's go away. Okay. I think it's more of okay. I know you came along because you're trying to appease me, but can you find something to do while I'm so that you're not standing over me? Okay, it's time to go. Don't or you think or tallying or, up how much yeah. she's spending because that's why we have ladies' night without the men, and then we give them alcohol. We want them to come and have fun. 
and spend what they want and then have a cocktail with their girlfriends yep. and have the children at home with you. Is that fair? It's fair. All right. So we're creating a space. I'm I've got some it. mixed oh. feedback about naming our space, what I'm about okay. to tell you. <laughs> okay. So the uh. name might change. We'll just cover that. This is a work in progress. We are accepting suggestions via yes. the Facebook. Uh, but in dealing with it in its raw, we are calling it Daddy Daycare. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is I love this. our de- <laughs> destination for, you know, people who aren't interested in flowers per se or just want to put their feet up and have a cup of coffee yeah yeah uh and yes the idea is keeping them out of the hair of our customer (laughs) also we've strategically moving the children's area right next to it yeah so we have a little (laughs) more of a community support effort if you will that's kind of the goal there yeah we're also trying to separate the sandbox and the fountain away Mm -hmm. from Mm -hmm. each other yes because any small child um, parent understands, oh, crap, my child is swimming in the pool that is on the patio. <laughs> and they might have a bucket of sand with them. So we've, what was we've that sand all that. that's now in the... Uh, well, okay. No. We're gonna it's like, it. did anybody see, see that? that? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a thing. Yeah. Greenhouse <laughs> is like feral children. My kids, when I first met my husband, it was at our Easter basket planting event. And how I ever managed to convince myself to go on a date with him is a small miracle because those children were four years old. And mind you, I had a rule. Don't date anyone with kids. They were twins. And they were running through the greenhouse screaming bloody murder like wild banshees. Casually. Casually. Just fine. Yep. Not injured. Not injured. They were fine. (laughs) They were running mock chicken. Just going, boy, howdy. No problem. And that's just what was happening. And we were okay. Somehow I still dated him. Yep. Here we are today. Go. Married yeah. and I have 12-year-olds. Yeah. Not knew? a red flag. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some cool so, stuff going on. Give us your idea on what this daddy dare care. What is, what is this uh, idea that you have to uh, share with our, with our so, watching So, you know, I guess the floral industry is kind of targeted at women. And I want to, and that's kind of unsettling for some men, I think. Especially since you are a man and you're a part of the horticulture industry. Sure. <laughs> but so my idea is to make this area, whatever we call it, that is PC. <laughs> we, we're playing um, with the bar too. <laughs> the bar. I mean, the saloon, yes. you know, something like that. Too. And that's the idea is to make it, I kind of want a pub brewery yeah. feel to it. Um, and that kind of thing. I don't have any like open ventilation ventilation <laughs> accents I can really put in there, but we're going to have a little coffee bar, like a self-serve kind of thing, at least at this stage. Um, I've got a bunch of whiskey barrels I'm going to use as tabletops. Yeah. Um, have some more uh, kind of more masculine appealing sort of feel in there, if I may say that. Um, but again, we're still trying to keep it a little gender neutral. <laughs> and I understand there's going to be a TV screen with maybe some sports on a Saturday or yeah. Yeah, if, we get the, if we get the right sports networks. <laughs> hey, you, provider, you've but got Wi-Fi in there. Go that is not howdy. off limits. There will be a TV in there. For there sure. is going to uh, be a TV there for sure. And that one might as well be playing sports. Uh, Doesn't matter to me. So the, the, the idea though, in that, bay of the greenhouse is is actually relaxation though you know come sit chill banter do it do your come thing. have a picnic we don't well, yeah, care. And that, yeah and that yeah, would be the question exactly. that i would yeah. ask are we setting this up not necessarily for the daddy daycare but for folks just to come in in a relaxing environment yes. with all the flowers yes and take the senses and Everything else that goes with that. And that's why we don't want to use the daddy daycare label because it also (laughs) applies to ladies. You know, our greenhouse is quite far from the cities. We're a destination. We, you know, and and I've been a customer on this side of things. It's nice to just be able to loiter, if I can use that term, um, and hang out, you know. Obviously, that probably drives sales, but really it's, it's part of that moving towards an experience that we're getting. If you can get off your feet for a minute, walking through a half acre of concrete isn't pleasurable for well, all the senses and, s- and take a break. Some of our customers are yeah. older, like perfect example. My yeah. great aunt, Diane, she's an avid, avid moss supporter. She needs to come in. She needs to sit down. 
Yeah. Yep. That's just, I mean, that's part of her process. And then she'll get up and yep. doodle around or she'll have her granddaughter Jane with her and she'll be like, I need these five things. I'm going to just plant my ass here. And that's just what she'll say it exactly well, that way. Let's go back like 17 years ago. Okay. Uh, Kimberly Nursery when they were up and running. Mm-hmm. Okay. They had their nursery center and they had their area where they had the greenhouse and some nice decorations. And then what did they have to the side of it? They had a little restaurant that you could mm-hmm. go to and ah, still okay. be able to enjoy the sights and the sounds. Yes. And now we're not going to have a restaurant. But not quite. <laughs> we are really toying with the idea of bringing in uh, food truck vendors more yep. frequently, um, especially on either big sale days or obviously ladies night, other big weekends, you know, Mother's Day. There's just so many local um, artisans yeah. that it's a resource that's not tapped into. And so if we can kind of figure out the, uh, what do I want to say that? The, like the logistics. logistics. Yes, that's the, the million dollar word. <laughs> yeah. The logistics of all of that and getting them out here and making it profitable for both parties and mutually mm-hmm. interest. Yes. I mean, that is definitely kind of uh, a sidearm of this whole daddy daycare. <laughs> <laughs> well, and there's been so many opportunities for, you know, little artisans and vendors to come in, in the last two or three years. So like figuring out kind of a dedicated space and having something set up, it definitely has an opportunity here, but we mm-hmm. haven't closed the door. We're building a kind of a, a classroom space yes. in the back. So an area that's kind of been a dead space for us where it used to be where an entire department was, right? So that last bay in the greenhouse, right. we had this big countertop and our custom planting department used to be there. We actually merged them into another greenhouse and some of the equipment stayed and it's become a catch-all. Right. Yeah. So we kind of yeah. just, Adam and I stood there and said, what the hell are we going to do with all this room? We don't need a closet here We anymore. don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually have a girlfriend. Um, She's in a different state, but you know, like that paint and sip, she wants a smoke and stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Total side shot. Yeah. <laughs> that is um trademarked by somebody else. Yeah. P.S. <laughs> well, Adam, I think you need to do a paint and sip for sure. Oh, so, absolutely. I you would know, love so. more interactive events like that. Yeah. There are a hundred things you can do that are better in a greenhouse. Yeah, absolutely. Um, goat yoga in a greenhouse? <laughs> not goats. Uh, in... No, Jamie already does that. I'm just picking on it. <laughs> yoga, yes. Um, still looking. So I'm you know still anybody, afraid but... of a goat shitting on me in the middle of it, like downward dog, like being up on your back and just pooping on your head while you're in a pose. I just see that well, in my head. I've never been. In this I've never been to goat yoga. Okay, I'm just not sure. This is how I see it in my head, and it's very strange. I just thought that was the <laughs> the weirdest thing. My wife and I watched an episode of Good Bones, which is one of our favorite shows, right okay. on HGTV. He's a big uh, and, streaming guy, and they like had goats in the yoga. I'm going, what the hell is this? It's goat yoga, and they just goats walking all over yeah. the place. Uh-huh. You know, all over okay. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's strange. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know it was a thing until I had a garden client last year that. Her kids had goats for anxiety purposes, if that can make any sense at all. <laughs> anyway, we were gardening there and they're <laughs> bleeding at us or whatever. And she said, you know, if you if you need to take a break and do goat yoga, help yourself. And I just looked huh? at her really puzzled, like, what are you talking about? And then, you know, she proceeds to open Instagram and we I see it's this whole niche. It's the whole thing. thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't know. Yeah. No so, idea. <laughs> so Adam, along with uh, what I'll call a relaxation corner now, rather than daddy daycare. <laughs> I like God. relaxation yes. corner. This is how it evolves. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. Elation station. <laughs> <laughs> that Somebody write that I'll have down. To come back here I will notes. text that to us later. Um, elation what else station. do you have in mind that's going to be new that uh, our customers can look forward to? So I think we kind of got off topic, but that this back bay that's historically been a closet, um, I... One of my passions is education and teaching. Um, I want to invest in a community and culture around learning, becoming good at what we do, which is, I mean, every we're starting people's journey with growing successful Mm -hmm. plants, but I want to carry them further into that a little more as far as, you know, raising vegetables. That's kind of the forefront of that, but also flowers, of course. So the back bay is likely going to become a classroom. Um, just with appropriate seating, kind of a podium, uh, workbench area, because a lot of our classes are interactive. You know, often we're showing people the procedure of how to do something. So, um, and I haven't 
past this with anybody, but I'm just going to say it here. Yeah, bring it on. No, this bring is, it on. You can get approval yeah. right now. I foresee a stage <laughs> in that back corner as well. And okay. eventually I would like to be hosting, you know, singer songwriters. Poetry night. For anything, anything that displays local talent, you know, but also that can function as, I don't want to demean it and call it background noise, but Something that adds to that experience. This is a sensory experience. You want to appeal to all of the senses. Yes. And sometimes Sirius XM radio or whatever we're using is where everyone else is playing too. So to get that little unique kind of touch to it, I would like to see more musical events um, okay. kind of thing, even if they're just supplemental to, like I said, a big weekend or something. So a big weekend where you've got a trio or something like that that's just playing music in a corner yeah. oh that would be so that would well, be you cool. can put them on the patio yeah. during yeah the, the yeah shift or have them start at three play till the right story yeah. and then you have a social and you're inviting a brewery in in the back and somebody's mm -hmm. gosh it turns out we have a lot of people on staff who love to cook and they love yeah. to showcase yeah. their things i don't yeah. know if you've ever been to moss green says we speak in food <laughs> um <laughs> that seems to be a theme so uh you know, there's so many opportunities here, but there is one other thing. So where the existing kids area used to be, we are changing things up and we're building a potting bar. Yes. Yes. So that one's kind of cool. So how's that going to work? Yeah. Walk us through it. Uh, I can introduce well, it, it's but very think... preliminary at this yeah. point. Yeah. Don't look. <laughs> Don't go over there and check it out. We do not open till uh, March. We are not taking visitors unless you'd like to come to the sales office so, and get a 20% off gift card during the month of December. <laughs> place ad here. We want the, yeah, exactly. the graphic. Flash you know, flashing. Yep. Placing <laughs> now. 20% yep, yep, yep. off gift cards December 4th <laughs> through the 22nd. Thank you very much in person or on phone only. <laughs> Okay. Thanks. Check, check. I didn't have to do that. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, this message brought to you by <laughs> Jennifer Moss trying to sell gift cards. <laughs> and then come by on Tuesday when it's 10% off and spend your 20% off gift card. You have now earned 30%. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Don't help these, are the these are the secrets. These are the secrets. <laughs> if you listen to the podcast, you get them. So on this potting bar, is this going to be <laughs> bring your own container? You're buying a container. Is it free soil? Are you buy how's it? How's in your mind? How's that working? Uh, yes and no. Yes and yes. Um, I think the idea is being, it's going to be next to the corner that I have decided where all of our, uh, ceramic and pots are going. Um, because nobody likes to lift those more than you have right. to mm -hmm. right. conveniently close to the entrance. And so, it has shade built in already. In, in respect for some of our aging clientele. Now I That's, resemble that remark. <laughs> and uh, do you, does your you back still pot up a flower? Does your on. back appreciate it when you don't have to lift things, Mister? I do it yourself at home on the weekends, and yeah. I see you Monday, and you're crippled. Yep. Hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> I've seen Dave on these days, and I'm yep. like, oh, that looked painful yeah. getting out of the chair. He's like, yeah. I took up 15 feet of cement. Yep walkway this weekend i was like i can Yikes. tell <laughs> i can tell <laughs> so yeah it so it'll be next to the ceramic obviously convenient um the idea being you know buy a plant buy a pot we'll put it together for you um some people are not as learned about what goes the, with what and even just how to plant something and, mm -hmm. and have it thrive. You know, some people beat the crap out of their root ball and some people don't touch it at all. And there's a there's a happy medium there. And <laughs> hopefully I can train my staff to find that happy yeah. medium <laughs> and we can do it for the customer. Um, and same thing, which is why I said yes and yes, is if you if they bring in their own container, too, I think that mm -hmm. that's same thing. Um, you had sent me that webinar uh, by... DeGraff, what's her? Jessica. Or Jessica DeGraff. PW. Um, and one of the key bits of information I took from that is that uh, people are, m the majority of people think that the pot and the plant are equal in value for a setup. Right. Um, that the right plant and a bad pot is awful, right. that, uh, that, you know, Wrong. the vice versa. Yeah. So, and that and that has changed over the years. Okay. That that yeah. perception. Okay. Yes. When container gardening really took off in the mid 2010s, okay, mm -hmm. 2012, 2013, container gardening was huge and it's still going to get bigger. Okay. We haven't hit the peak of container gardening, but the perception of I've got to have that beautiful pot 
to match the flowers that we're putting into it. Yeah. That that perception has changed since basically COVID, I think, really. Because okay. that recent, I think because huh? I think you're looking at they're paying more money. Okay, so they're gonna pay more money. They want that look. Yes, we're we're selling color. We want color to shine. But oh, that's a beautiful pot. You know, that's what they're looking for too. Yeah. And I think it would just add to, again, going back to experience, just adds to that experience to, to let someone walk away with a finished product. And this is my favorite part. One that doesn't entail work when you get home. Yeah. Because I you're have quite the shopping the mess. Habit. Yes. And you're making the mess with us. It's one thing to go select all that, that flat of mixed plants that I put mm -hmm. together perfectly in my head. And then I kind of like get home and you're like, Wait, yeah, what yeah I drag my feet going right. home. And I'm like, this is now work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or what was I thinking so, when I got like, that? I'm going, oh, it's like yeah. when you go grocery shopping for hours and you get home and you're like, I'm too tired to cook. Yep. I'm an order takeout. I mean, how many so. times yeah. have we looked at it and knew, okay, I've got my 14 inch pot, my 12 inch pot. I'm buying all these plants. Right. And I've got no room for the plants that I just bought. Well, if you're like me, you just become the plant fairy around your neighborhood because you're not <laughs> taking them back to work. But I'm not telling anyone where I live. Yeah, thanks for my that neighbors. On the other side of things. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> one of one of his past clients is across the street from me oh. when he was running his landscape business. And I have so. surprise days of here's a few flats of things <laughs> <laughs> that Jennifer, the neighbor, left on the front doorstep. <laughs> I did do that. I have a rule: it doesn't go back to the greenhouse. So yeah. that's the rule yeah. in my house. So my friends benefit. I think it's a great idea. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else is in the works. Okay. So we have, uh, we're playing with different events. We're playing with new ideas there. Um, different kind of sales. We're going to utilize our social media a little bit differently going forward. Um, wholesale is kind of pulling back from all that. And we're letting retail take the front um, as they should. Good. Good. Um, hopefully in time. And I'm not going to throw Adam straight deep into this pool yet. But hopefully in time, the Facebook Live won't be so much more me. It'll be more Adam. Um, also, we're, we're going to do a little bit more education. Like currently, uh, myself and then our production manager, Ryan, do two CSI classes. And, you know, they're going to print with all that. So we're, we're good there. I do a vegetable class and then Ryan does two container classes. We have up to that container. It's a 15-inch container now. It's quite a bit bigger. But I've only added five dollars to the price. But then you choose the plan. They're plants. nice containers. They're very nice containers. Um, we had a we had a goof up with containers last year, and so we wanted to make it right this year and do a more impressive container that has a little more space, mm -hmm. so you can still get away with the same amount of plants, but you have a little bit more longevity for the container's life for its quality, and really setting that up. And then we're we're playing with uh, I'm playing with resurrecting mother moss and the sustainable plants. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm bringing back our sustainable plant line slowly but surely. We're edging in toe toe in the water, not whole foot. Um, just to see, you know, the new generation wants sustainability. How do we provide that for them? Well, we grow in a sustainable container. That's the thing. You know, Proven Winners came out with the sustainable container. We have it. It's just more expensive. And right. it's already a really expensive product. So we're trying to navigate what the the balance is there for people. And so we're we're going to keep playing with that. Don't worry, PW. We haven't forgotten about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will plug that there. Um, it's just, it's it's a hard thing. But I think that what Adam's hitting on is the challenge we deal with as a grower in today's world. We are fighting for a disposable dollar. So we're fighting against camping, swimming lessons, school clothes, groceries, camping. Eating I said out. camping Eating twice. Out. <laughs> Champions twice as important. Yeah. Yeah. It, exactly. Yeah. And getting away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. <clears throat> sure. And you're putting that disposable dollar in something that's perishable and could die. You may not have the knowledge to keep it alive. So hopefully the goal is that we're bridging that gap and helping empower the consumer and the home gardener into knowing how to take care of it properly and succeeding with it. Because once you drink the Kool-Aid, you start to get it. I mean, I still remember when you first started working here 11 or 12 years ago. 11. Yeah. So Adam came to came back to us after being employed with us, you know, 11 years ago and then got into horticulture, went and got your education in it. You you drank the Kool-Aid much deeper than I most people I don't know if do. I want to call it drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> okay. What would you call it? 
learning. Learning. <laughs> <laughs> casually. Just casually learning. <laughs> casually but learning. Probably. You're right, I was though. like an associate's and a bachelor's. Yeah, just it was not a little casual. obsessive. Yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. Okay. I see you are very dedicated. Now, yeah. I still remember Adam's second day on the job. We are first day at the Reno show, and I drop him onto the show floor, and I'm like, okay, we got a budget. You got X amount of $1,000. We got to figure out what the hell we're doing. We're going to figure it out. Mm. <laughs> and we walk into the high-yield Fertilome fertilizer booth, and he starts to immediately ask about active ingredients, and I just like turned around like, my job is done. I don't have <laughs> any idea what he's talking about. I'm walking away. <laughs> you know, so... It's going to be really nice to have somebody who can kind of translate that knowledge. Not that we didn't have it before. We, j you know, like I said, COVID was rough and it kind of just burned everyone out. We lost some of the um, vendor support we used to have, right. too. Right. There was a conglomeration of the companies we used to work with as well. We used to have three different three suppliers. Now it's one. Now it's mm -hmm. one. And um, they don't do the training hands on right. anymore. So we actually, in several booths, I challenged them and I said, when are you going to come back and do training? When are you going to come train our staff? They need well, to know I think a lot this. of it too is is asking now that the COVID travel restrictions are done for most companies. Yet. Okay, it's asking. Okay, we're going to have our grand opening on such and such a date. Can we you commit to being here? Yeah, we need more of that. I think that's just that's just a matter of asking and and then planning to yeah. to get it out there. So we we want to invite people to share your ideas. If you're seeing something really cool in another garden center, take a picture, put it yeah. on our Facebook, and say, "Man, this was so cool." Send us a message. Hey. Or come into the store. We don't care. Um, show us what you're seeing because we want to. We want to be that new help. experience. <laughs> <laughs> also, we will be receiving applications anytime. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Please go to so, mossgreenhouses.com and go to info and then job opportunities and fill out the application. Yeah. <laughs> Do you foresee changing up the mix on what you're on what you're selling? Uh, I have a few ideas. Uh, I guess I can just let yeah, that hang out. Yeah. Um, I want to, we've been doing tropicals for a while. Um, you know, we were growing them. We kind of phased that out. Um, house plants are big news. So I want to focus on not necessarily rare varieties, but certainly things that you just can't get in a box store, you know? Um, so I want to kind of articulate the house plants in that kind of a little more of a unique direction. Um, another thing is, um, cacti. I really would like yeah. to see a lot of cacti, uh, He's, in retail. You're speaking yep. Dave's Absolutely. language. Um, I'm a hobby grower of cactus. You know, I, I have a, my own little hobby greenhouse solely for that purpose, just because I need he five degrees he, in the winter. He nerds out on yeah. this. It's a little uh, ridiculous. <laughs> and so we, we grow a succulent mix. And I think the perfect complement to that is, is cacti. Yeah. yeah. Um, Absolutely. so I'm still looking for suppliers. If you know anybody, get a hold. <laughs> um, and then the other thing going back a little to tropicals is I want to get orchids back here Ooh. because that is how we started. We are going to circle full there circle. Yeah. Uh, there you go. we started as an orchid grower, yes. We Grand, started great grandfather. Great, great great granddad created an oval office straight out of the building we're sitting in now. We're sitting in my great grandparents' old living room. This was the original farmhouse door right here. We're in that studio. And uh we he took old two by fours and windows and he had a school bus. And during the winter, because they were farmers. They drive down to Central America and need fish, and he loved all their plants so much. Don't tell the Department of Ag. I can see Shelly now. <laughs> <laughs> they'd fill the bus with plants, and they bring them back. And so, yeah, he did cut flowers and potted potted plants for all the florists and corsages for prom and the whole deal. Hmm. So that is how Moss, well, it was Adam's floral then, but that's how Generation 1 started. And granddad ended up, uh, great granddad, uh, he was one of the best orchid growers in the country. I've got old articles from the Northside News on the wall in our in our sales office right now, and so it's it's kind of cool. I have that photo if you want to. And I understand that you're uh, thinking about bringing air plants back. Yeah, Talansia. Yeah, I I thought air plants were out, but they're no. too beautiful to yeah. not try yeah. some. <laughs> yeah. And then the three of those things, right? Cactus, orchids, air plants. They're all some of the most drought tolerant exactly. plants that yeah. there are, which that's kind of my fudge towards sustainability with the control and the powers that I have. Um, because those tend to thrive in A, the desert and 
with maybe neglectful watering habits. So in the You mean everybody's watering habits? In the remaining time Not that we have, so. are we going to advertise what's coming th- via Facebook and things like that? Say, yeah. "Hey, yes. here is our newest concept or yes. or you know, come March, come see us in this or our expanded line. How are we going to get this information out?" Um, I intend to release I've am toying with how periodic that's going to be, but there will be regular announcements about upcoming events. I'm I'm thinking on a monthly basis. I might well, even release we'll also, a seasonal calendar. We'll probably put of, a seasonal calendar on our website. Yeah, and then like a monthly reminder sort of thing. Cool. Um, but yeah, we'll I start do building want, the events. This is going to be fun. And I want it I'm to look excited. like a, not that it matters, but like a concert tour t-shirt. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, this is right down oh, my alley. I wanted yeah, all the retail wow. shirts this year to be like concert tees. That's yeah. like kind of a thing yeah. that I'm stuck on. I can, I can, I've already got. Ooh. Okay, you two wow. talk. Okay. We'll just put we'll put it into AI. Get I can create it. Band t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I want the band t-shirt so bad. Be a part of the band. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know this goes back You've to You've got our five concert. events that you're gonna prepay Absolutely. for. Get your concert t-shirt with those with those five events. You know. Oh my god, goodness. Uh, be- yeah, we're gonna have fun this year. <laughs> oh, I didn't um, think about a t-shirt too. This is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just you got all your you could do all of your retail apparel as concert shirts in a hot second and just have fun with it. Maybe we have a theme for 2024. Right, I like yeah. it. Um, well, I can tell you, ladies night out, we've got the date set. It's April 17th. We are accepting vendors online um, on our website. There's a form. Uh, the theme we're really focused on, we're staying away from your multi-level marketing brands. I'll just be completely Shh. candid. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to be very upfront. We are trying to really focus on unique Idaho based as much as we can or Intermountain West based products that are part of the ag community and are custom and tailor made. Something you can't necessarily go to a store and buy. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to provide a unique experience. Also, we are going to different garden centers locally and regionally and sharing with them our ladies night out concept because I will also be playing. We are not doing more than one. It's not happening. I don't care how many times you ask and how fast we sell the tickets. It is a full company affair when we do it. We have to bring in people from all the different departments and it costs a fortune. And it it's all for you, the customer. Yep. It's, a, it's a completely unique experience. So we are sharing that footprint and we have gotten one full commitment from Windsor's that they will have one in June. So I do have one commitment. And so we're going to share this concept with several others and hopefully be able by 2025 to release a full calendar of all the the ladies night outs that are tailored to those different companies. You know, so we'll reach out to the local garden centers and sit down with their managers and say, hey, this is how we did it. This is what we found worked, what didn't work. And just share the information, let them create their own experience, because truly what you do at Moss is going to be different than what you do at Webb, right. which will be different than what you do at Windsor's, which would be different than Southern Idaho, which would be different than DMB. And those are just a couple of our customers off the top of my head. I know Select Source is celebrating a big milestone anniversary this year, um, this upcoming year with 2024. And so talking with Morgan, the owner, uh, Kendra's son, this weekend, happened to meet him in Kimberly at the Kimberly Mm -hmm. Holiday Festival. And he wants to talk about something in August. So, hey, like, that's cool. And that's something different. And so we're going to really try to, we want to use the garden community, the, the community in the Magic Valley that really is these true gardeners that love garden centers. And figure out, you know, I go to Moss for this. I go here for this. I go here for this. So they can have unique experience with all of us. Because if you can get somebody to garden and drink the Kool-Aid and plant a plant, they'll keep buying them. Quit saying drink the Kool-Aid. Keep saying it. Don't I? I need a Kool-Aid a man lot. to come out of the... the do you join the cool kids club? I mean, I, I could come up with a different analogy here. I'm going to have to work on my analogies. It's because I'm brain dead. We're, we're it's doing. Okay. We're shot. We're shot. At this <laughs> point in the season. I get it. Yeah. Onyx has an opinion too. I don't know if yeah. you've met my inner sasshole. She is right here. Her, her nickname is sasshole. So. I don't have any. Right <laughs> She's like, and on cue. <laughs> so yeah. So follow our Facebook. We're going to keep blasting things out um we're gonna go big starting in january we're just trying to get through christmas right now but if you are interested in gift cards this is a perfect time to buy them we do two gift card sales december and ladies night that's it 
and they're 20% off. So it's definitely a smoking deal. I know that we actually have avid customers that will make it a point to come buy them in December knowing that they're going to spend it in the spring, yep. including customer, um, actually employees will yep. come do it too. <laughs> employees buy gift cards and they come and spend them. So uh, with that, any parting messages? If you've got ideas, put them on our Facebook. We want to hear them. We're all ears. Um, we actually make it a point to go to other garden centers. We're in different areas to see their ideas. There's this gentleman that I work with um, on an American Hort project. He owns a place called Groovy Plant Ranches or Groovy Plant Ranch in Columbus, Ohio. He has a mining station for kids where you can mine crystals. Oh yeah, and uh, it, he will not send me pictures. I'm a I'm going to fly my happy ass to Columbus, Ohio. I'm going to be seeing this in July. I'm going to make it a point. He was just being a stinker. That's all Jared was doing. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not sharing that with you. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to show up. I'm going to see how you do this. He's got a cool, like, cactus adoption. He's got a potting saloon. He's got some really cool ideas. He he takes old VW bugs and buses, and he plants them. And they don't have any engines or anything, but they're like a mo mobile garden. Right. And they go around his, his place. He's a very hippie feel to the place my grandmother actually ended up there and was like this place is so cool so i started following him on social media and then him and i ended up on a project together <laughs> so i've got to know him um so just you know the world is very small and so any cool ideas you see i know that we have a, a mutual friend and she's a past employee kook oh. she's probably gonna listen to this and be like oh my god they're <laughs> talking about me so kook goes to all sorts of different garden centers she's always got crazy ideas from some other garden centers so I know that a lot of those folks listen to kind of things Did like this. Did you just announce my personal spy? <laughs> no, I didn't. Not she's, not, she's not a spy. She's just an <laughs> avid gardener. <laughs> we have other spies out there, though. Spies may be generous, but she's but, definitely a lookout. She yeah. is a lookout. Uh, but th there's cool ideas, and there's no reason we have to reinvent the wheel. Nope. There's just something we have to turn it into a moss feel. Right. I mean, we've had people try to recreate Our Ladies Night. We are trying to help them do that. So if you are a garden center and you want to know how we do it, just call me on 3241000. Don't call my cell phone. <laughs> I've already gotten three calls while we've been on this this <laughs> podcast. So um, with that, your homework is come up with a cool idea and share it with us. Come and, out and say hi to Adam. Yeah, come yeah. come Welcome meet Adam. Welcome to the team. This is going to be a fun year. Yeah, well, we're you. pretty excited we're going forward. forward. It. We it, everything just worked out perfect timing, and we were just stupid lucky to get you. I've been trying to steal him back for a couple of years. It has not worked. <laughs> well, um, COVID really upset the whole industry, as you said. <laughs> God. <laughs> and now that we settled out, yeah. Yeah, it's like perfect no, timing. I want to. You know, you learn that running a business is real hard. And sometimes yeah. it's really nice to have somebody else do that heavy lifting for you. I definitely have been feeling that. I'm really <laughs> happy you. to have Dave and Dewey back. That's had, another discussion. That's, for a another total, time. that's on the, the next podcast when yeah. we talk about burnout. <laughs> okay. So um, please, if you're enjoying us, subscribe on all channels, um, YouTube, streaming, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Did I do that? Okay, Zach. Yeah, that, he's like, yeah, not impressed. You could get better with that. <laughs> he can always, he can always put it's the fun. graphics on there. At the, yeah. you know, the... So if you're on Spotify, I, tunes or is it apple music now or is it apple podcasts apple podcasts um as well as youtube any of those platforms we're on all of them um we have merged the facebook into just moss greenhouses now so we don't we are retiring the bloom and full color page and we merge everything into the website for ease of use for us as well as simplification for you guys to find us and then our next two episodes that we're filming we're going to be talking about Gifts as experiences, not presents. And then our next one is burnout, which is about perfect for the holiday season because everybody gets a little burned out during the holidays. And so those are the next two episodes. And with that, we look forward to your ideas and we invite you to go live life in full color because plain is pretty boring. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. <laughs>